Good morning, everyone. Welcome and welcome back to my channel for the love of budgeting. And my name is Tara. And today I'm going to be stuffing my $1,500 emergency fund as well as my 1K challenge. All right, so let's see. This is my 1K challenge by A Pink Cloth Life. All right, and each envelope is worth $40. So I've gotten three done so far. And today we're doing three more. So that's 20, 40. <clears throat> you know what, I, I jumped right into the uh, video, didn't even ask how y'all doing, how y'all doing? <laughs> It's just one of these days, y'all. I'm just rearranging some stuff and trying to figure out what's going to work best for me and just going over my goals and see if they're really realistic for this year. And I'm really not sure if they are or not. I'm just... I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm kind of in my feelings today and I need to shake it off. And the weather's not helping much. <laughs> you would think I would be just, and that's another $40, um, excited and just, I don't know. I just, we got a cruise coming up and I need to get myself right because I'm just not, I'm just, I just need to shake this off. You know, you ever be in one of those moves where you just like, blah, you know, and nothing seems to help. Or whatever, but I gotta I gotta shake this off because one thing I know for sure is that you cannot play around with depression. I have dealt with depression since the age of 14 and 13, I'm sorry, since the age of 13 when I lost my best friend to asthma and you know I slipped into a deep depression then didn't think I wanted to live anymore and stuff, you know, and so I know now that you cannot play when it comes to depression. You can't, you know, give into it. You know, I had to make myself get up out the bed and, you know, do what brings you joy. Making videos for YouTube, putting out content for YouTube is bring me joy. So I didn't, I didn't have a lot of money, but I used what I have and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to push through this. I'm going to push through this. You know, we got a cruise coming up real soon and I need to be packing, to be honest. <laughs> So, yeah. All right. So, let me go ahead and mark my tracker. So, we just did three more. One, two, three. All right. And just like that, we just saved another $120. And all to so for so. so <laughs> So, so far on here now, we have $240. And, I mean, it's easy to do. I mean, think about $40 and what you waste $40 on. I may waste, I ain't going to say waste, but I may spend $40 on Cokes. You know, because y'all know I'm, I love Coca-Cola. So, I'm going to set this right here and let it dry because I don't want it to mess up. Okay. And now I'm going to bring out a oldie, but a goodie. My 100, I mean, 1500 uh, $1,500 emergency savings fund from Uni Budgets. Her name is now Miss Million. So check her out. She has a lot of nice things in her shop. And they're not expensive, you know. Um, the binder didn't come with this. Uh it came with the, the A6 rings, but one of my rings broke, so I just put it in here. I thought it was cute, and, you know, it fits, and I like it. So, yeah. This, okay, this challenge has different denominations, you know, and there's 45, 100, 45, 55, 38, 100, 35, 35, 100, 55, you know, and so on. Yeah, the, the, the smallest one is just one for $5 and then 25 but they all go up from there. So I figured, you know, it'll be easier for me just, I think, easier and quicker. 
I don't know. In my mind, it made sense. Now that I'm saying it, I don't really know. <laughs> but I'm just going to... There are 30 envelopes. I could do it this way and use these denominations. Or I can just put $50 in each envelope and still come up with the $1,500. Now, if at any time I uh, have extra cash or whatever, I may put some extra cash into the 100 envelopes. <clears throat> May, may not. If not, I'll put the minimum 50 and still end up with my $1,500. Now, am I going to use this for my emergency fund? I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, to be honest. Um, um, I'm not sure yet. I'm really not sure. But uh, we'll see. <laughs> so here's 50 and it's going into the 45 slot. Uh -uh. There we go. And it feels good to be able to use this binder again because this is one of the first binders that I received. I didn't receive. I bought when I first started. Uh, before I even started my channel, to be honest, when I first started um, watching uh, the budgeting community, I did this at home for a while. Then I decided, okay, let's go ahead and start my channel. I have two from her. As a matter of fact, I have uh, this one and then I have a $2,500 one. Um, and I did the same thing for it. I put it in a purple binder because it's purple. So lav lavender, I put it in a lavender bind binder because it's purple. So yeah, I'll be bringing that out, I guess, after I finish this. Um, one thing that I am learning is not to overdo it, <laughs> not to overthink my finances. And I think that's what I have been doing in the last few weeks. Well, last couple of months, I have been overthinking my finances. You know, um, I hate to sound like a broken record, but I am on disability. <laughs> and I don't know how, you know, long I'm going to be on it. So I, I don't see any end to it, any, Latin, you know, any, I don't know. I'm still in the doctor's care. I don't see myself, you know, coming out of it for uh, a while because I'm still dealing with the pain and inflammation and everything. So... And I don't say that for pity or anything. I just say that to say that I have to stay within my budget, my realistic budget, you know, and I hadn't been. I've been trying to do this and do that and do this and do that. And I'm like, girl, stop. You cannot do it all. You cannot do it all and pay your bills. Um, and because, of, you know, the accident that I was in, now I have I now have a new car which I gave to my son, but it's still a new car and I have to make payments until I can pay it off. So that's, you know, you know, I can be, I, there's $375 more than what I was paying before. I said, that was $375. I cannot save anymore. You know, I can't stuff it anymore. So that, that was a hard hit also. So, you know, I'm rearranging some things. I may have some new challenges coming out. I may rearrange how I do some things. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, my goal is still, uh, to get as close to 15,000 as possible. Um, we'll see, we'll see. We have a lot going on between now and December. Um, my son's graduating in a couple months. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> my baby, my baby, y'all is graduating. He's going to school in state. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm excited. I'm going to be able to, you know, buy him all the things he needs for his room, help decorate it. He said, Ma, you're not going to decorate my room. <laughs> but I, you know, I can put my little touches here and there. <clears throat> um, if he want to come home to eat dinner, he can, you know, and that excites me. You know, I told my husband, I'm going to be burning that road up, taking him food back and forth. My husband said, no, you're not because he can Uber. He can, you know, he, he can get around. He, there are plenty of uh, places to eat around here. So <laughs> we're going to see, <clears throat> but um, yeah. So we have his graduation ceremony, graduation ceremony, of course, his graduation celebration coming up. Uh, we also have a cruise in December to celebrate his graduation. Um, and also me and my husband has, I have a, uh, another cruise next year, uh, to, uh, Alaska. That's just for him and I, but we still have to finish paying on that. So a girl, <clears throat> the girl got a lot going on. Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> 
got a lot going on and um it's starting to get to me a little bit you know and it's almost a little depressing because i feel like <clears throat> my life was turned upside down by something that was caused by someone else you know i had nothing to do you know with what happened you know he cut me off you know and turned my life upside down so i'm having you know i'm just trying to get myself back into a better um mind space i'm trying to uh do my budget realistically i'm trying to stick to my nails look awful oh my god okay i digress <laughs> i just looked at my nails oh my god i gotta get my nails done y'all but anyway um <laughs> yeah uh i have to get i have to get myself i'm not gonna say back on budget because i'm staying on budget i'm doing the best i can but i have to you know rearrange some priorities if if i'm i guess i'm saying that right as far as my challenges you know that i'm doing a 10k challenge um i'm doing a, a 100 envelope challenge self-care holiday minis you know i'm doing all of this and i'm like girl are you gonna be able to put a dent in any of them as long as you're doing this many at one time you know and i i don't think so you know, so I'm like, okay, I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm real. I'm rethinking the 10K challenge. I'm still. <clears throat> I figured if I do, I don't know. It may not work. I may end. Up, what I ended up doing is taking the money at my 10K challenge and putting it into another uh, 100 envelope challenge. So I have two 100 envelope challenges going right now. I may end up taking that money, putting it back into the other binder for my 10 K. I don't know, but right now it's just easier for me to put smaller denominations into an envelope than it is to put $200 at a time. I mean, I would love to be able to, that was my goal. And at first it was easy because I had just started paying my, uh, my car payment. And yeah, it was, it got kind of, you know, and then my insurance, I had ended up getting insurance, you know, another insurance, uh, health insurance. So it, it's, whew, it's a lot more expensive than I thought it would be, to be honest. And so I'm having to deal with all of this and, you know, life, <clears throat> don't stop lifing. <laughs> you know, yeah, you still have things you have to take care of. I got to, you know, keep food in the house, you know, and. You know, I still have doctor's appointments and stuff that I have to go to. So, I, you know, just keeping gas in the truck, you know, and it's a lot. It's a lot. And I'm trying not to, I'm trying to stay where I, let me see if I'm saying this. I'm trying to keep reminding myself why I started this journey to begin with. You know, I'm trying to feel that joy that I felt when I turned the camera on. You know what I'm saying? I hope I'm making sense to y'all and I hope I'm not rambling, but I just, I just need somebody to talk to, you know, and sometimes you just need somebody to talk to. <laughs> so I'm talking to my family, you know, I feel like I can talk to y'all, but I, um, <clears throat> yeah, I just want to, I, I want to re remember, I don't want to lose that joy. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be so overwhelmed with trying to keep up with the Joneses, you know, that I forget the joy that doing, you know, saving money and stuffing envelopes and challenges bought me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to forget that. So I'm going to stick to what works for me for right now. You know, you know, um, I always tell people, you know, don't look at other people, what other people got going on. And because you don't know their situation, well, I slipped right on into that, you know, and, you know, forgive me forgive me. I had to forgive myself because, you know, I, I don't want to be like that. I want to be, I'm happy for everyone. I celebrate everyone. Every time someone, you know, reaches a milestone or finishes a mini challenge or whatever, I'm ringing my imaginary bell. Ding, ding. You know, I'm happy for y'all. I am genuinely happy for you all, you know, and, um, but I'm not going to lie if I, I would be lying if I say that sometimes I feel like, why well, can't be me, <laughs> you know, but I got to shake that off because I too will have my moment, you know, may not be next month, may not be the month, may not even be the rest of this year, but I am going to have my moment, you know, 
So, and I hope that you all will be here to celebrate with me, just like I'm celebrating with y'all. So, <clears throat> those are going to be the uh, change. For right now, those are the changes. Unless something drastically changes in my finances, that's going to be uh, what I'm going to be uh, working on. $1,500 emergency challenge, uh, 1K challenge, um, holiday binder still, self-care still. How, did they say holiday? Didn't I say holiday? Yeah, and my minis. And I also started some scratch-offs, which my video for my scratch-offs should be coming on tonight. I think I did a bunch of videos at one, not a bunch. I did four videos at one time because I knew that I was going to be leaving soon. So I wanted to make sure I left some content for you all. So that's what I'm going to be taking care of. Um, both of my 100 envelope challenges... Um, well, I'm working on both, but at the same time, but one, I'll be putting more money in than the other because one, I actually want to take it to the end of the year and actually unstuff in December if I can, uh, or, or maybe in November. Uh, we'll see how that works out, but yeah. All right. Well, that is it. I am through with my, <laughs> I don't want to say pity party because I don't want anybody to pity me because I, I, I'm better off than a whole lot of people, so yeah, I don't want, you know, anyone to pity me. I don't want anybody to feel like I'm, you know, wanting someone to feel sorry for me because that's not the case. You know, I, I, nope, that's not the case. And I'm not here to take away from any of you, um, your moments because, like I said, I celebrate your moments. I do. So, with that being said, thank y'all for coming by. Oh, and welcome to all of my new subscribers. I've gotten, I think, six new subscribers this week. Thank you all. Welcome. Welcome to the family. I appreciate you all. And, um, yeah, I'm still bench watching. I'll pick a channel and I bench watch, but I'm trying to concentrate on right now because I know, you know, I'm watching the money. Now that I'm monetized, I can see the money that I'm making. And it, it, it is a slow process. <laughs> It's a slow process, but I, I, you know, I've also been watching other people's videos on their monetization process, and um, I think I'm doing a little bit better than some of them did, you know, because some people said, you know, they're like, they only got pennies per day. Well, I'm above that, so thank God. But yeah, I guess any little penny count, though. <laughs> Every little penny counts, because it's going to add up. So, yeah, I'm trying to concentrate on, um, you know, those who need watch hours as well as ones who are already monetized and, you know, to help them get that check because they don't send out a check until you hit that $100 threshold. And I want to help as many people as I can. So, let's, with that being said, let's binge watch each other's videos. Um, you know, like, leave comments. Um, let's help each other out as much as we can. All right, you guys, I don't talked enough, <laughs> but I do feel better. I do feel better. So I thank you and you all enjoy the rest of your week. Um, and if I don't talk to you anymore, happy Easter, happy Friday, happy Easter. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.